Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, uh, my name is Stephen Kariungi and we are continuing with our topic of discussion and uh, the topic is assets, bases and indicators. And at this point we are going to look at uh, the effect of assets on substances. So when you talk of the effects of uh, acids on substances, we have some gases that are acidic that are emitted by industrial uh, processes. We have gases such as sulfur four oxide. We have a gas like nitrogen four oxide. Those gases are acidic. And when they are released into the atmosphere, they have an effect. Those gases have an effect, and that effect is sometimes negative. For example, if an acidic gas is released to the atmosphere, uh, it combines with uh, uh, the rainwater to form acidic rain. And acidic rain causes the corrosion of the rooftops, especially those ones that are made of iron sheets. They become corroded. Uh, if the acid rain falls on plants, plants lose their leaves, a process called defoliation. If uh, the acidic rain falls on uh, soil, it lowers the pH of the soil, uh, leading to uh, making the soil or makes the soil unsuitable to support uh, plants. All those are effects that come as a result of acidic gases being released to the atmosphere. So you can say that uh, acidic gases include we have sulfur four oxide is an acidic gas nitrogen four oxide these are gases that we'll encounter later much later even chlorine gas, ETC, all those gases are acidic. So we are saying that when these gases are released to the atmosphere, they combine with rainwater To form acidic rain. Acidic rain which has the following effects. The acidic rain has the following effects. A causes corrosion. Causes corrosion. of roof, rooftops, of buildings. So the buildings start getting corroded, especially the roofs, uh, those that are made of iron sheets. So that can be as a result of the acidic rain. Acidic uh, rain makes the soil acidic. Hence, unsuitable. It becomes unsuitable to support crops growth. So the crops are not able to do well. It also causes the leaching of minerals. Thus, lowering fertility, lowering soil fertility. So when the minerals are leached deep down into the soil, or they are washed deep down into the soil, 
uh, the soil fertility is compromised or the soil fertility is uh, is lowered so all these are some of the effects that come as a result of the acidic rain and these acidic rain come from the acidic gases that are released to the atmosphere by industrial uh, processes then we can uh, also look at uh, the uses of acids and also bases we have acids that we use for various uses uh, for example we have hydrochloric acid is used to clean metal surfaces Now that process is called descaling cleaning of the surfaces of metals especially for those metals that have rusted they have formed some rust or some scales or some corrosion on their surface hydrochloric acid is used to clean those uh, surfaces we have sulfuric acid is used to make detergents paints etc is also used in car batteries it's also used in car batteries the acid that is found in car batteries is usually sulfuric acid uh, then we have nitric acid is used to make fertilizers is used to make fertilizers dyes and paints As another use we have acids such as ethanoic acid ethanoic acid is used as food flavor or is used in flavoring foods Number five, we have very many acids that have very many uses. We have carbonic acid is used in aerated drinks, used in aerated drinks, e.g. sodas, to improve the taste, to improve the taste. So the aerated drinks such as sodas, they have carbonic acid and that is done to improve the taste so that is as far as the acids are concerned different acids have different uses hydrochloric acid cleaning metal surfaces descaling sulfuric acid car batteries making detergents and paints nitric acid making fertilizers dyes and paints ethanoic acid food flavors commonly found in vinegar carbonic acid used in uh, aerated drinks to enhance or to improve the taste so you can also have the uses of bases you have the uses of bases and you can say that magnesium oxide and hydroxide is used in making anti-acid medicine those medicines that are usually used to reduce acidity especially in the stomach they are called antacids and they contain magnesium oxide and magnesium hydroxide so they help to neutralize acidity in the stomach also used 
inlining of furnaces the furnaces especially the furnaces that have uh, a lot of heat they are usually lined with magnesium oxide then we have calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide used in making cement toothpastes because they are rich in calcium and reducing acidity in soils so the acidity that is as a result of the acidic rain yeah whereby the soil may become so acidic and therefore unsuitable for crops growth then we are saying that uh, calcium oxide and calcium hydroxide can be added to reduce that acidity we have another base ammonia is used to manufacture fertilizers as well fertilizers and nitric acid nitric acid is made from ammonia as one of the reagents and also ammonia is used in the making of fertilizers the fertilizers that add nitrogen to the soil we have sodium hydroxide is used in the making of detergents used in the making of detergents so basically we have a lot of uses as far as uh, acids and bases are concerned so at that point we can have an assignment So the first question what are the pollution effects of acids to the atmosphere or how do the acids affect the atmosphere in terms of pollution uh, number two state two uses of a specific a acid you specify the acid plus its use and b you specify the base and its use so we have come to the end of that topic and uh, We'll meet in another topic. All the best. Goodbye.